Thank you everyone for coming over. My name is Craig Rizell. I'm a Global Account Manager for Corning's Gorilla Glass. I'm going to be spending the next few minutes talking to you about the exciting world of Corning's Gorilla Glass. As you probably know, as you can definitely tell from walking around a show like CES, users are rapidly embracing touch to interact with their displays. So, designers, OEMs, and manufacturers have a critical question to ask. What are they going to use to help protect that high-end display while ensuring high sensitivity, cool design, and accurate responses? Designers and OEMs have chosen the world's best, most deployed, most adopted cover glass solution. They have chosen Corning's Gorilla Glass. Today, as I am standing here right now, Corning Gorilla Glass is on more than 600 million devices. Market reception has been fantastic. Designed into more than 600 different models with more than 30 different brands. Let's do a quick demo, one that we did last year. I'm going to need a volunteer. It's going to be a fast demo, but I need a strong volunteer. Anybody? Volunteer to break some glass. Asif, Asif, thank you very much for volunteering. No problem. We've got three different samples of glass here. Okay. All of these, to make it really easy for you, all of these have been slightly sandblasted on the back okay. to help simulate everyday use in the field. When you're pushing on the top part of this glass, you're putting the top part in compression, the glass won't break. But the back part will be in tension. And, and with the abrasion, it'll make it very easy for you to break. Okay. The first sample is a non-strengthened piece of soda lime glass. Put the pointer there, press down, and on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the hardest, let me know what your thoughts are on how hard it was to break that glass. Not very hard at all, I'd say 2. 2, okay. Maybe even 1. Even a 1. <laughs> strength and soda lime. Fair enough. Gone through a chemical strengthening process, okay. same thing. Oh, wow. uh, that's probably a 6. Alright, that went up to a 6. All of the same thicknesses, 1.1 millimeter thick, current generation Gorilla Glass. Okay. Now we've upgraded the back, it's easy. Come on, lean on it. I can't do it. Wham! You're damaging the plastic. Put some muscle into it. <laughs> this is like a uh, TV app. This feels like really nice. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the crowd's wanting. You're damaging the plastic. Right? I mean, who's going to damage his hand before you <laughs> do it? If you damage it, no, I can break it. It's possible, right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay. Once again, the damage resistance and retained strength of Corning's Gorilla Glass prevails. However, we never stop listening to our customers' continued pursuit for thinner and just as durable form factors. I am very pleased to introduce our next generation of Gorilla Glass, Corning Gorilla Glass 2. What we have here is a ring-on-ring -ring demonstration. Before we start that ring-on-ring -ring demonstration, let me also say that Corning Gorilla Glass 2 provides the damage resistance you expect from today's Corning Gorilla Glass, but up to 20% thinner. With that being said, now let's start a ring-on-ring -ring surface strength test demonstration. John's going to help us out. The first sample, all of these samples, by the way, have also been slightly sandblasted on the backside. To put it in tension, make it easier to break, as well as replicating and simulating everyday use. Non-strengthened soda lime glass. How many pounds of force it's going to take to break that piece of glass? One finger, impressive. 42. Thank you, John. Strengthened soda lime glass. 1.1 millimeter thick strengthened soda lime glass. Okay, a little bit more pounds of force, thank you. So we've gone from 1.1 now, 1.0 millimeter Gorilla Glass, the benchmark of the industry. I know you've got some more energy in you, John. It's been a long day. Uh, get up there. Yeah. 140. <laughs> All right. 128. 1.0 millimeter Gorilla Glass at 128. Pounds of force. Gorilla Glass 2. 0.8 millimeters thick. For you mathematicians, 20% thinner. How will it do?
Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just as durable uh, within this form factor of 0 0.8, just as durable as the 1.0 millimeter Corning's Gorilla Glass. Guess what? Tough just got thinner and tough just got better. So what does this mean for you and me? Well, it means a few things. It exactly means, you had enough participation in this. Uh, so it means a few things. Thinner Corning Gorilla Glass 2 weighs less, allowing designers to create sleek and lean devices that weigh less. Thinner Corning Gorilla Glass 2 has better optical properties, which means better transmission, which means better and brighter images, greater and brighter images, which is critical for today's high-end display delivering richer video content. Thinner Corning Gorilla Glass has greater touch sensitivity and responses without sacrificing performance. Tough just got better and tough just got thinner. Where else can we expect to see Corning Gorilla Glass? Well, behind me, on the other side of our booth, is an 82-inch perceptive pixel on-loan multi-touch display being protected with Corning's Gorilla Glass. We also have several Sony Bravia uh, LCDs, and we're working with major brands on other large display applications, signage, etc., to take advantage of the damage resistance and toughness of Corning's Gorilla Glass. Corning Gorilla Glass is sleek, elegant, and durable. These are characteristics that designers and, and major brands from other markets are looking for as well. Markets such as automotive, uh, architectural, and appliances. Also on the other side of the booth, we've got some demos regarding this topic and some subject matter experts to answer your questions. Well, thank you very much for allowing me to introduce Corning Gorilla Glass to you today. Please join me and my colleagues in the booth to further discuss your requirements and to learn more about the exciting world of Corning's Gorilla Glass. Technology that Corning invented. Um, just like the process of making this very pristine surface glass, we invented that, and, and actually the composition of glass. And so by all these unique features, we are able to make a very, very tough glass that is highly data resistant. As we keep tuning the composition, it lets us go thinner and thinner. So, 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 yeah, so we actually must have to call